The Bloon Trap is an incredibly underlooked money making tower that is overshadowed by other methods like farming and boats. In this video, I will show you why you should almost always open up with the engineer if you have farming in mind. Here, I will test the Bloon Trap against the most popular opening farm, the Marketplace. I have conducted standardized tests which are playing Monkey Meadow on hard difficulty with max monkey knowledge from round 3 to 101. I will also be providing no exterior buff to the towers that may influence their money making. Opening with an engineer provides some great early game popping power, and the second and third upgrades, pin and double gun, allows us to pretty much solo up until round 40. If you solely focus on the engineer, you can get a balloon trap running by round 24 if you ignore and leak the camo balloon. I recommend cross to get to a 0-1-4 so that you can position the trap all the way at the start of the track and have some versatility on the position like I did here. The balloon trap can hold up to 500 RBE and once collected gives a multiplier of 2 for each balloon it collected. By round 48 I pretty much have a stacked defense of a tag zone, 4-2-0 alchemist, 3-2-0 village and a 4-2-0 ice monkey. By round 74 the balloon trap has made $57,000 which is insane for a $5,000 initial investment. However on the later rounds the balloon trap starts to fall off when the balloon pops are worthless and more mobs start to appear. But this is not a problem as the balloon trap has already fulfilled its duty for early game to mid game cash generation. You can either upgrade it to an XXXL trap or use the $57,000 to buy defenses or farms to boost your economy. In the end the engineer produces 80k, the engineer did not capture any camo balloons to keep the experiment fair. Now let's look at the 023 farm. If you open up with the free dart monkey you will be able to afford a 000 farm by round 6. But doing so will have the balloons eating up your spike pile. To avoid dying I bought triple darts before any farm upgrades. After that, I was able to afford a marketplace on round 19 and buy valuable bananas on round 21. The early game has been quite rough as of now since we had to rely on a single dart monkey, while with the engineer he was the damage. Things stabilized by round 40 and the rest of the game went smoothly. In the end, the 023 farm generated $35,000, which is significantly less than the engineer. The other cross path for the marketplace had basically the same story. Open up with the free dart monkey, get the farm on round 6, a 4 2 0, 0 by round 13 and 2 0, 3 by round 21. The early game here was also rough due to the lack of defenses, but I got back on track once we had the complete farm up and running. In the end, the 2 0, 3 farm generated $34,000, which is slightly less than the 0 2 3 and was bought on the same round. To conclude, using a balloon trap to initiate your farming is a necessity as it is both a money producer and an insane defense tower. Using a marketplace to initiate your future farming is both more expensive and less efficient in the long run. You can say that the marketplace has the caveat of earning back lost lives and generating more on top, but if you use the engineer, you won't be losing lives to begin with. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.